Alan. Amelia. And this is, this is our, our kid, kid car, car. And you're watching Backyard yeah. Builds. Well, we needed we needed a project, and uh, moving to Florida, I've always tinkered with cars, and so I decided that I wanted a reproduction a kit car of a Jaguar SS100, and so we looked for a long time to find the right one, and found this barn find in Buffalo, New York. And actually, we bought it on the internet from. Uh, from Craigslist, right? Yeah, that was good. Had it shipped down and uh, went over the pictures. The gentleman that had it was his father's. He knew nothing about the car because he was long gone after his father got the car. Um, so he couldn't tell us much about it, but he, he did his best and showed us a lot of pictures. Of course, when we got it, pictures didn't quite tell everything. There was a lot of uh, work that it needed. A lot uh, of work, hard and, work. <laughs> yeah, and so my ace mechanic here, uh, we pulled the engine and transmission, drivetrain, and we took uh, the brakes, and we took the rotors, and we took the suspension and the shocks, and took everything off and cleaned it, and painted, undercoated, and um, put it all back together with a new engine and a new transmission. And we spent about six months on it every day. And we were able to bring it back to this. We did a little bit of chrome work, mostly elbow grease and mostly mostly uh, TLC. Uh, it had burlap bags on top of it, so the burlap from being in the barn and all that moisture seeped into the uh, uh, into the fiberglass and its gel coat and seeped into the gel coat. So we had to take sandpaper, which scared us to death. And we finally got it out. You can't see any sand marks, and we wanted the patina to be as original as possible. We did the interior, put new carpeting in, and just really just spent a lot of time trying to keep it original. What do you think? I think it uh, looks great, and that was a hard project, yeah. or hard to finish, but finally we finished everything. And the outcome was we were shocked because I've had all kinds of sports cars throughout my whole life, including real Jaguars. And we were shocked at how well it drives. Uh, we did a lot of little things to the engine and uh, we're probably putting out about 85 horsepower. And it's more than enough. It's sporty. It's quick. Um, I wouldn't change a thing on it. Well, the project took around like um, six months um, since we uh, got the car from um, Buffalo. So the car uh, wasn't what we thought. Was Never it? is. But yeah. So when we get it here, yeah, we realized it was a long project, but that was... Uh, but it had good bones. But I mean, we knew, bones, right, we knew that it was a solid, right, yeah. So, and it, it wasn't a rust bucket. Nothing was, nothing needed to be replaced as far as that's concerned. The frame was in great shape. And, and the engine is like, um, engine was a Chevy, is a Chevy engine. Chevette. Chevette. Yeah. Zuzu. We call Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> also Zuzu. Yeah. And it's, it's very simple. Yeah. And, uh, and, 
we rebuilt the whole car and we are very happy we have a lot of thumbs up all the time we drive yeah. the car yeah and we are very happy with it. the engine it was um 12,000 miles yeah and the engine was bigger than we thought so but you know was exactly the size exactly the size that fit our car so it took um like a four to six hours to take it out and to put back together everything a lot of hours putting a lot it back of together, hours and put it together. so between the two engines we were able to make we took a carburetor off one we took a generator off another we took a manifold off another one so we didn't have to really buy any parts until we came up with a perfect uh, perfect engine took the pan off one and and uh, repainted everything and put it all back together and compression is perfect on it and um, no leaks uh, we, we we could take it uh, the car runs it loves 65 miles an hour at 70 miles an hour it's like mm, okay and anything over 70 it's like seriously do you really want to push it this hard uh, temperature stays around 180 190 oil pressure is always around 45 to 50 um, it's never overheated and it dries because it's rack and pin pin steering uh, it's like a rail uh, it, it's great out in the country roads and we don't like to take it on the major highways because we bought it for to go out on our Sunday drive and do little road trips and have a blast with it.